Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to A Late Gamer. I am your host, A Late Gamer, and my, my, I am quite late. I realize it has been a hot minute since my last upload. I have been in the process of moving, and I am officially done moving now, so you all get to see the new place soon in upcoming videos. But until then, I hope you enjoy this video that I've been meaning to post for a while. For the God of War Ragnarok PS5 controller. So during this unboxing, we'll go through the exterior of the packaging, which you're going to see here currently. And we're gonna go over some fun stuff along the way. So this retailed MSRP for $74.99. Interesting fun fact, the black and white variants are $69 for reference and everything else except for the limited edition controllers uh, are $74. $4.99, I want to say. Uh, this one was also $74.99. However, the most re recent limited edition controller, which is the Hogwarts Legacy limited edition controller, was the highest of the bunch at $80. Technically $79.99 respectively, but is, is a pain in the butt to get your hands on as of right now. Uh, while looking at the price variants for this on eBay, the lowest one was going for a little over a hundred bucks. The highest one, somewhere around the 130 to 140 price range. So if you are looking to still pick this up, you can do so. It is a little bit on the higher side, but honestly, not too terrible for something that retailed for about 70 something bucks to begin with. Uh, but just a little fun tidbit uh, if for anybody who is watching this who might be interested in getting one and does not have one currently. So here is me unboxing it. I love the design on this box. I will never get rid of this thing. I love the wolf design. The wolf and the bear representing Kratos and his son Atreus. Please correct me in the comments below if I have said that wrong. God of War is a new series for me. Um, I have not known much about it besides the fact that it revolves around uh, mythology and the gods. And it honestly, I saw this. I love the blue. There isn't a blue controller like this as of right now and at the recording of this video. And I was like, you know what? It's limited edition. I'm going to grab it. Scalpers are crazy right now. I cannot get over that. It's like some stuff goes for ungodly amounts of prices and then others just sit there. Cool fun fact, this sat on Sony's website for a hot minute and then like right before release, couldn't find it anywhere. I managed to get my hands on this on the second restock, I wanna say, was not let down by this. And I am currently still trying to get my hands on the Hogwarts Legacy version of this controller. However, as of right now, Sony has only done one restock on that, and that has been uh, on my list of things to keep an eye out for. But in the meantime, outer packaging, amazing. Got the wolf and the bear all over it. It also has the silhouettes of Kratos and Atreus. This is the inside of the packaging, very similar actually to the packaging on the inside of the PS5, cool fun fact. I recently had to pack mine up, so uh, as I was doing so, I noticed that this and the PS5, uh, the controller slot, when you first get it, are almost identical. Uh, Sony really did a knockout job of packaging these things. Uh, the PS5 was by far the easiest to get back in its box compared to the PS4 Pro and the PS4 consecutively. And here is the official reveal. I actually put it back in the box just for you all. So feel special. But um, this thing was so shiny and new and glossy. I love the buttons, the triggers. Honestly, this is one of my favorite controllers to grab. I cycle through my controllers uh, pretty regularly just so they all feel like they're getting played with. Yes, I'm one of those weird people that feels like all his controllers have feelings and they want to be used at some point and played with, blah, blah, blah. But it also helps keep the batteries going and power cycles and blah, blah, blah. But absolutely love the design on this. Uh, it freaking rocks. The blue is probably my favorite part. I love the aesthetic with the bear and the wolf. Um, uh, besides that though, there are no differences. This works the exact same as every other DualSense controller out there right now. Um, highly recommend if you're a fan of God of War, grab this and you will not be let down. 
Um, besides that, I mean, that's pretty much it in terms of aesthetics. Uh, you've got the blue, you've got the bear and wolf on there. And besides that, there's not a whole much. Uh, you're just gonna hear me repeating myself. And just for fun, I put a Beowulf Grimm plushie next to it. Uh, if you've not seen any of my previous videos, I'm a huge Ruby fan. And in the Ruby series, there are monsters called Grimm Beowulfs. And here is a quick comparison with the other DualSense controllers that I have. Um, I have two white variants, a uh, cosmic red variant, and I'm blanking on what the black variant was. Uh, I want to say it was a, I want to say midnight uh, variant. And here they are all in comparison. If I get any more of these in the future, I will do another video comparing and contrasting the differences. Uh, I'm keeping an eye out. Final Fantasy 16 is just around the corner, and they just announced custom face plates and a custom limited edition dual sense controller as well. But for now, I'm your host, a late gamer, and I will catch you all on the next one. Thanks for watching.